haul. Um, it's not very big. I only have like maybe five things. I've been trying them out for a couple of days now and I have a little bit of an idea of whether or not I like them or how they are on me personally. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so the first thing is this Batiste dry shampoo. I have used Batiste in the past before. It is the greatest dry shampoo. I love this stuff so much. Um, this is the first time that I've gotten just the original kind. I usually get the cherry one, um, but I mean it's just a regular old dry shampoo. And it smells great. It just smells really fresh and I used it today actually. Actually everything that in this haul I have used today. So first thing I got was this Batiste. So the next thing I got was this Real Techniques sculpting brush. Um, I use this for contouring right here and it fits like perfectly right here on my nose. And um, I got this because my old brush that I used for contouring was old, like several years old. And it just got to the point where all the bristles were falling out and it was my favorite brush and I had tried several like contouring brushes but they weren't quite as dense as I like it to be. So these are really, really dense and it's really, really soft and it is just perfect for getting that little bit of contour on. So yeah, there is my new brush and I love this thing. Um, I will definitely be keeping this. All right, so the next thing I got is this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. I got this in the light shade. I think I'm gonna be returning this and getting it in medium. It's just a tad too light for me. So I'm gonna swatch it out. It is, I do have oily skin and it is a little bit greasy feeling when I put it on, but um, after I set it with my powder, it usually is okay so it is really creamy and it goes in really really easily um, I have tried this with both uh, Beauty Blender and my fingers I do like the way it went in with the Beauty Blender better than when I just rubbed it in with my hands um, I do want to try it out with a brush too though so yeah there is that, and like I said, I am going to be taking this back and just swapping it out for the medium shade because this one is just a tad too light for me. Okay, so the next thing is also by It Cosmetics. It is the Celebration Foundation Illumination. I also got this in the shade light, but I think that it's a really, really good match um, for me, and I just use it lightly um, all over. When I do dip my brush into it, I get a little bit of fallout, which isn't great, but it doesn't really affect how it goes on. It does go on nicely, it stays on, it mattifies, but there's also a little bit of glow that comes off of it because it is the illumination one. But I really like this powder. Um, where did I hear about this? I heard about this on Jam Beauty, Jessica's um, YouTube, and also Emily Noel's YouTube. They both talked about this and raved about it, so I wanted to give it a try, and I really enjoy it. The next thing that I got is probably my favorite thing that I ended up purchasing and trying out, and it is the Benefit Erase. Ooh. It is the Benefit Erase Paste. I have it in the shade Medium, and it is just this peachy concealer, and it works amazingly under your eyes. Um, all I do is dip my finger in, get a tiny little bit, and then just dab it like right here, and. It completely cancels out any darkness. It's crazy. And one thing I really like about this is the first time that I had tried it, I put it on under my foundation and it blends out so evenly and so smoothly. I can just wear this and not do a full face and just do this to conceal my under eyes and I won't need anything else. I don't need to set it with anything else and it just blends out flawlessly. I love this. Okay, so the next thing I got I was so disappointed with. I hate that I'm so disappointed with this. And it is the Bigger and Bolder Brows kit set thing um, from Benefit. And when you open this up, you get this cute little tin and it has all of these products in it. It comes with Ready Set Brows, Cabrow, Highbrow, 
and then a little stenciling thing. So first let me talk about the stencil. It has this little holder. It has this little holder and you stick the stencil into here and you just put it up and you use it to help create like the line of your brow down at the bottom. The thing I don't like about this is, is first off, when you put this on, it's kind of hard to like get it to where it needs to go because it's so big. Also, I, I don't know, it's just really gimmicky and I don't like it at all. So that was the first part that I wasn't too thrilled about. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the Ready Set Brow. This, and like I said, I used all of this stuff today. And I'm not crazy about brow gels to begin with. I don't normally use them. Normally my brow routine is I just put on Gimme Brow and that's it. Um, so this, it's kind of sticky. It's wet. I don't really see much of a difference when I use it, like as a like opposed to not using a, a blah, as opposed to not using a clear brow gel. So I don't really see the point in it. Um, I mean, I guess a ton of people love brow gels. It's just not for me. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, which is the most disappointing one, is the Cabral. I have heard so many positive things about this and I just don't like it so first off I got this shade 3 which I think might be too light for me so I don't know if I'm gonna take this back and get it in a shade 4 and try it out again and so it comes with a brush like as part of the top so you pull the brush off and you just flip it upside down and then you use this to apply it, which I love this. I think this is really cool. I really like how there's a brush in with the product so you don't have to get a brush if you don't have one. But anyways, this stuff is so dry. I have such a hard time getting this on. Like, it's so dry and it's so hard to work with. And I've talked to other people who have used this and they said that this is a super creamy product they love it so I think I just got a dud I I think I'm gonna get it in shade 4 and hopefully that one won't that one won't be super dry and I'll give it another shot but as of right now I am NOT impressed with this at all like I am super disappointed especially you know this is pricey and for all the hype that I've heard it didn't impress me so, I don't know, after I get a new one, I might update you guys if it's any better, but if you don't see an update, then it probably wasn't. Sorry, Benefit, but this just wasn't good. And the last thing in this little kit is the highbrow. This I liked. This is the only thing, I just put it in my mouth. This is the only thing out of this whole kit that I really, really like. So it goes on very, very easily. It's so creamy. You can get it right up against it and highlight. I love this. I love this so much. It blends out beautifully. I've used other um, like highlight sticks for your brows, and this is the best one that I've used. So I really, really enjoyed that. But everything else in this kit not so much i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will see you guys next time bye also i am going to link all of these products down below if you want to check them out for yourself mm -hmm.